Hey Steve, this is Oliver Tree from Comer. Just wanted to see if you can get all the footage back to me. I'm gonna need it by Tuesday. I'm not sure if the label said this to you, but we need you to wipe your hard drive and the USBs and all your cards. Uh, we can't let any of this footage get out. I just got a call from someone saying they saw some of the footage. Now you're going back on your word. If any of your footage gets out, I swear to fucking God. I hope we don't have an issue here, man. I hope you're not trying to fuck with me. How dare you try to put this fucking movie out? I fucking swear to God, I'll come to your house. I'll fucking kill you and your family. At this point, I have no interest filming with you or your people anymore. If you can get that fucking camera out of my face. I just hopped on this tour last minute. I don't even do anything. Uh, who's Oliver Tree? He definitely fell off. I think he, I think he peaked already. Because I've known him forever. And yeah, he's always been like a quirky kid, but it's never been like this far gone. I came here for him, you know, to film for him. And nine out of 10 times, he wouldn't even want me to film. He was always doing something that would embarrass him, that would make his image look bad. Oliver definitely takes the cake as the most diva artist I've ever worked with. Um, just a level of disrespect and how rude he treats not only our crew, but every venue's crew, every sound guy he's talking shit to. He goes up on the speakers. One, two, almost to the top. I catch him by the legs. I pull him down. G-Rock from the side hits him. He's down on the stage. It's him, the panels that were taped down and us making it a mess. And I heard like uh, security people from the venues and uh, tour management coming at me like, be careful with that kid because he's super loud, shouting, physical. He thinks he's the shit and he'll like punch you in the face and you, if you don't do what he says. He'll be like, you know, running around backstage just like hitting other musicians, including my friend Dave, who's like a hell of a guy. I've toured all over the world, um, various different bands, and I've dealt with a lot of egos and divas, and he's just all that, plus he's extremely violent. He not only abused me emotionally, but physically several times. He talks shit behind Skizzy's back every day we're in the green room. He's mocking his songs. The difference between Oliver and I, and and this is what I've learned on tour, is that what I do is real artistry, what I do is real creativity, what I do is work. I put time and effort into what I do. I've been doing this for a decade. For Oliver, it's just like, oh, I'm gonna post this picture. Oh, I'm gonna capitalize on this trend. You know, he has more Instagram followers than me and shit, because he's in a fucking, tub of Cheetos, you know what I mean? And does it make me mad? Yeah, it fucking makes me mad, you know what I mean? Because I work at this shit. The fuck are you doing, Steve? Stop filming this! I've never seen someone so pathetic. Like, he's always talking about Instagram. He's like bothering Skizzy, yo, shout me out, yo, shout me out. It's like, it's, it annoys the shit out of me. I can imagine Skizzy, what Skizzy's thinking. And this is not a social media tour, you know what I mean? He's obsessed with, with likes, he's obsessed with memes, and, and I'm trying to focus on music here, you know? I'm getting at least, you know, five to six times the engagement, so you can only imagine. Um, his Twitter numbers are bigger, but even that is, you know, 
it pales in comparison to what I'm doing with the gram. I have a good Instagram following myself, but I don't brag about it. I don't need to rub it in other people's faces, and I don't take advantage of my fans or the people around me trying to help, especially your team and your brothers. My name is Amir Guzman and I'm the TM and drummer and driver of this Oliver Tree Tour. So when we were asked to do Snow Globe, their team asked me to tour manage and I was happy to do so. I've done it in the past for other artists, but I kind of wondered why the past two tour managers um, were quote unquote fired by Oliver. And it kind of made me think, you know, as this tour progressed, maybe they actually quit and it's probably due to all the same bullshit he's been doing both backstage during the show and after the show you guys gotta cut the fucking beards off you work a fucking bunch of hobos here Amir! Amir! What? Time to shave your beard. I'm not shaving my beard, dude. Time to shave this shit! There you go. How's that? Look at him, show him. He's gonna play like that tonight. Hey, um, so I'm KC, um, keyboard player for Oliver Tree. Once this tour is over, like, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna kinda cut ties. It's pushing me to the edge, you know, and I'm, stays between you and me, but this is Casey's last score. I can't work with someone this incompetent. And not only that, the guy smells. His smell isn't even the worst part. He hasn't showered this whole trip. Amir said he took two baths. He hides stuff in the van. Old yogurt. Old snacks, drinks. What are you doing in my jacket? Is this yours? You want the fucking pink one, dude. Take the shit off. Chill, bro. Chill. Damn, these are Nobody wears that, dude. Where my That's my jacket. Is? Where's mine? It's right behind you. Oh. Clean 
it up. Nobody's eating till I eat. What was the one with the, the brown hair in the beard? The Casey? Man. No, the marriage guy. Paul? Yeah. Paul left the glasses on the stage! That's true. What? what do you say? They stop making the same type! You don't understand that you don't speak English! You have a backup pair. Really? Paul found the glasses. Where were they? Oh shit, I did put them in the bag. All right, we'll get here fast. Paul, I'm not so sure about him. What it comes down to is I'm not getting the help that I need. I mean, a lot of the stuff comes down on production and you know, Paul's never done production before. And he drops the ball. He's supposed to be cleaning the shoes. The shoes have been dirty the whole tour. He didn't even spray the initial spray before I was going out and like, he knew these were white shoes. You get the smudges out? You just told me to work on them two minutes ago. What do you, what do you want? I want you to get the fuck, look at this, this is smudges. And look at that, it's a big ass smudge, dude. So they originally pitched the idea to me as you're gonna be on the tour as production manager. Okay, seems easy enough. He doesn't have that much production to manage. You know, barely a show, really. No visuals. But then it somehow gets warped into me being, well, he what he calls it is production assistant. And my business managers brought this up to me. They said, watch out for Paul because when they came to the one show in Tennessee where Paul was working, Paul was nowhere to be found. There's been reports that we've sold three sweatshirts. This has to end, dude. This shit's bullshit. Dude, I can't believe you guys forgot me in fucking downtown. Are you gonna come in the car? Are you joking? We have sound check that we're probably gonna miss, so it's like, you gotta keep in mind that this is like a whole structure and this is a squad and we're moving as a unit, but the train has stopped. And like, if you're not there, we will be moving forward. You know what I mean? Like, we have iPhones, we will keep filming. They hired me to film with a cell phone. The hardest part's been working with the label. After this tour, I see them very differently. Oliver and I are on the same label. Um, and, and that label seems to just be signing anyone right now. And I don't want to say he's not a legitimate artist, but, uh... Yeah, a more legitimate artist. I just put up with this shit, and I'm done, dude. I'm sick of this shit. And, and the way Skizzy's been acting, saying obscenities, trying to say shit about my clothes. Yeah, where are you from, dude? Uh, from Santa Cruz, I already told you, bro. From Santa Cruz, why the fuck are you wearing a French shirt, dude? He flat out embarrassed me in front of everybody. You should have seen Paul was holding me back. I was swinging at him like I was about to rip his face off. But like, you know, when you're the opener and you're really putting on the whole show for these kids, you know, you can't help but feel bad. It's like I'm only out here playing for 30 minutes and. That's pretty much the show. Yo, I think Skizzy should have gotten a better opener. How old is he? Is he old enough to be in the venue? Oliver Tree? That guy is whack. I believe Oliver Tree is a compulsive liar. And he's addicted to stealing. And honestly, I think he steals just for the thrill of it. I shouldn't have fucking dialing! Don't know about his music, his style. He just like puts on these weird costumes. Just 
comes on stage looking like a five-year-old, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he knows what the tour is. I'm pretty sure it's a Skizzy Mars Are You Okay tour. Oh. Hey, Jonathan, can you hear your thoughts about touring? Dude, I already told you I don't want anything to do with Oliver Tree. Get the fuck out of my face. John came up to me the other day, and he wanted most of our crew and definitely the artists to stay away from Oliver. I feel like nobody actually wants to take a guy with a bowl cut serious. Well, guess what? You better start taking me fucking serious because I'm about to change the world.